So a quick review from unit one, remember that a feature is a physical portion of a part, such as a surface, a pin, hole, or slot, its representation on the drawings. Now remember, there's two types of features. There's surfaces and then features of size, holes, tabs, slots, pins. And that's what we'll focus on in this section is a feature of size. So what makes a feature have size? We talk about opposing points. Some people call it the caliper rule. Can you measure it with calipers, then it's a feature of size. So a shaft has opposing points, you can measure with calipers. A slot has opposing points, you can measure it with calipers. So hole, shaft, slot, and tab. So let's talk about two classic features of size, a pin and a hole. So let's say we have a pin called off as 870 to 874, and a hole identified 875 to 880. And you're gonna have one supplier make one part, and you have another supplier make the other part. And we want to make sure they interchange. So I'd like you to glance at these two drawings here and tell me, can you guarantee the pin to always fit with that hole? Yes, I think so. Because let's look at our numbers. What numbers were you looking at to make sure they'll always fit together? The 874, and what do we call that in geometric tolerancing? The MMC, maximum material condition. And then we're looking at the 875, smallest hole, and what do we call that in geometric tolerancing? Also the MMC. So MMC, smallest hole, biggest pin. And you can see there, there's a thousandth of an inch clearance. Now the other numbers that we didn't circle, those would be what we call the LMC. So biggest hole and the smallest pin. Now why would somebody care about the biggest hole and smallest pin? Well, that's going to be the maximum rattle that you could have between the pieces. So every fit is going to have two sides. First, will they go together? Yes, that's MMC minus MMC. The other one is the LMC minus LMC, and that's how much rattle or slop you could have between the pieces. We talk about the performance of the fit, and the performance of the fits are always based on those two worst taste conditions. Okay, now we have one other problem here, is what happens at our worst case if this pin comes out shaped like a macaroni. Will that pin fit into that hole? Well, it depends on how you define the size of that feature. Some people say the size of the pin is determined by the point to point you do across there. Other people say no, the size of the pin is determined by what hole it fits into. Well, those are two different answers. That's why it's important we define what does a size tolerance mean. And this is such a fundamental rule that they call it rule number one in the standard also known as the envelope principle. And what that states is every feature of size must have perfect form at MMC. So remember what form meant? Form was the shape. So a perfect shape at the maximum material condition. That means when you make the biggest pin, it's gotta be perfectly straight. Now as its cross section gets smaller, then it can bow or bend by that amount, but it cannot violate that MMC perfect form boundary. Same thing goes for a hole. A hole is a feature of size and therefore bound by perfect form at MMC, rule number one. So when this hole is at its smallest, it must be perfectly straight. Now as its cross section gets larger, then it can bow and bend by that amount, but still engage the mating pin. So that's the rule. We basically made a rule that says that pin better go into that hole. And I don't want to make it so complicated because it's really not. How do you check the size of a hole? Stick a pin in there. That's basically what rule number one is, is use a go gauge, use a gauge pin to measure the size. So that's what I want to show is that size is more than just calipers across there. It will be a go, no go gauge because of this perfect form boundary at MMC. So let's go into how size controls form a little bit more. So here I have our pin 870, 874, and I want to know what's the worst case wasted shape the part could go. Now, a wasted shape is where the waste goes in. It's like an hourglass shape here. So how much can this shaft be hourglassed? Well, within the size tolerance, because it must fit inside of an 874 hole. That's our rule. And then 870 could be the minimum cross section. It could, could be wasted within fourth out. How tapered could the shaft be? Well, no more than fourth out, because it must fit inside of an 874 hole, but its cross section could go 870 and 874 on one end. How bowed or bent could it be? Well, no more than fourth out. It's got to fit inside the 874. Cross section could go down 870 and be bent within fourth out. How barreled shape could it be? Starting to see my theme here? My theme is that size controls form. So every form variation that I could think about, 
the barreling, the wasting, the bending, the tapering, and even talk about circularity problems like oval and D-shaped, that's all within the size tolerance. So size controls form is such a big important concept here, and that's because of our rule number one definition in our standard.